Hi there, I'm Jessica Drossen. Today I'm going to walk you through the all new JD Beautiful World Pastel Tones. These actions will help you to instantly and customizably transform the tones in your image to soft, gentle pastels. This is a before and after. The only difference is one of the pastel tone actions have been applied. And here are different pastel tone actions across the same image. These pastel tones also work for studio images. So once you've installed your actions, we're going to go here to the audition tool and we're simply going to hit the play button. Give it a few seconds. You will see that in your layers panel, all of your different tone options are now available to you. We can preview them simply by clicking on the little eyeball icon to the next of each tone folder. And you can preview these tones. There are in total 16 different unique tones that you can choose from. I'm just gonna to continue to go up the layers so you can see each one. Now, all of these tones are customizable in that you can mix and match them. You can go into the layer opacity or you can go into the folders themselves. Now, additionally, let's pick one that we want to use as our sample. We'll pick a uh, light lapis and then I want to show you how the pop selected area action works. We're going to go in here and select a white soft brush and then with a, a low opacity we're just going to go ahead and paint into areas that we would like to stand out a bit more from the rest of the background. So here on my subject I'm going to select some of her highlight areas. I'll turn it on and off so you can see the difference. And now I want to show you the different contrast options. We have a bright contrast and a deepen contrast and then a couple of contrasts that are in between, one which is going to sort of lessen the contrast while increasing the saturation another which does the opposite, it decreases the saturation. Now depending on just how much we push and pull these tones in open areas, there may be a little bit of banding. If you run into this, there's a little action here and we just run that action with the play button and we are just going to again select a little white, soft white brush and we would brush into any little areas that might be banding. We don't have that issue here, but perhaps if there was a uh, a larger area in the background we might see a little bit of that just depending on the number of tones and the number of different contrast options you had chosen. This brush will just soften that. Now I'm just going to play here at random showing you what happens when you mix and match your tones. So I'm just selecting different tones at random by turning on their little eyeballs and you see that we get basically just an unlimited amount of different tonalities and you can sort of mix and match and see which ones look best across your image. You can change the opacities, you can even go into the folders themselves and turn certain layers on and off. So really the options here to customize are endless and these are non-destructive so at the end of the day you always have your original image untouched, it's just layers on top of it. So here's my final before and after. Thank you so much for watching.